My name is Nye, also known as a beautyologist, and I write golden prescriptions. Get it? Welcome back to the Golden Prescription. My name is Nye, also known as the Beautyologist, and I am your friendly neighborhood esthetician. This video is called Winterize Your Skin. Winter is for hibernation, it's for cuddling up, it's for snuggling, it's for planning and planting seeds for how your entire year is gonna be. But the same brutal temperatures that keep you inside sucks all the moisture and glowiness and beautifulness out of your skin. The combination of the dry, cold air outside and the dry, heated air that they pump indoors to keep you warm completely zaps your skin of moisture. So these are my top five tips for winterizing your skin and surviving the winter without the extra ashiness and one bonus tip at the very end if you stick with me that long now my very first tip is no hot showers I am the worst offender of this tip so I put it first I get it it's freezing cold outside and you just want to bask in the beautiful warm wetness of the shower I know I'm not the only one women's metabolism is slightly slower than men's so our internal body temperature doesn't get as hot as theirs do which is why we're always cold and they're always like hot boxes but I mean like if you can't put your cold feet on your man's back what the hell is the point you know now standing in the hot shower and just soaking in all that warmth is basically exactly what you shouldn't do. The hot water strips your skin of the natural oils that it needs. Your best bet is to take quick 10 minute or less showers in warm water. My second tip to you is to exfoliate. The winter air is zapping your skin of all its moisture, leaving those cells on the very surface that have to actually encounter the wind really dry and really flaky. You can use manual exfoliants or chemical exfoliants to slough away the dead skin on your body, but if you're talking about your face, make sure you're only using chemical exfoliants. Manual exfoliants are like scrubs. There are natural enzymes like papaya and pineapple that will dissolve the dead skin on the surface. Alpha hydroxy acids, also known as AHAs, like glycolic acid and lactic acid, will also dissolve the dead cells on the surface of your skin. Look for products labeled AHA, peel, or enzyme for chemical exfoliants. My third tip to you is to super moisturize. Your regular moisturizer probably isn't going to cut it for the winter time. So it's time to pull out those really thick shea based body butters and creams and lather up. Now my fourth tip to you is to seal it in. Heavy moisturizers are amazing, but sometimes they're just not enough. The next step is to lock in that moisture with an oil. You can also mix oil into your current moisturizer if you don't want a new one. I recommend coconut oil and almond oil for body, and jojoba oil, maracuja oil, and argan oil for the face. Do not put coconut oil on your face, it clogs your pores. My fifth tip to you is to drench yourself. Did you know that your body does its most repairing at night? It's why babies sleep so much. Your bodies grow and repair while you're sleeping. Overnight masks allow the most time for your skin to suck up as much hydration as you can get. But if you're not a steady sleeper and worried about messing up your sheets, there are tons of night creams and nightly masks that are really heavy and deeply penetrating that you can wash off before you go to bed, but they'll still keep working throughout the night. So those were my five tips to you about winterizing your skin. My last bonus tip, because I love you so much, is humidifiers. Now humidifiers aren't directly a skin body tip, but they're a lifestyle tip. The heated dry air pumped into buildings to keep you warm can be just as drying as the freezing cold air outside. A humidifier is gonna pump moisture into the air so your skin can eventually suck it up. You can purchase humidifiers anywhere, Walmart, Target, Marshalls, Amazon. But in the meantime, until you get one, a really easy thing you can do is to set a bowl of hot water next to your bed. The water will evaporate and hydrate the air in your skin. House plants are another great way to add moisture to the air and humidifiers even help with sore throats and coughs. This is the end of Winterize Your Skin. Thank you for watching The Golden Prescription. Follow my tips for helping your dry winter skin and let me know how it works out for you on my Twitter, my Instagram, or my YouTube comments, anywhere you want to reach out to me. If you know someone who's super ashy, send this to them. Follow, like, subscribe. I love you so, 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 so much. This is The Golden Prescription. My name is Nye, also known as The Beautyologist. If it doesn't feed you, don't water it. Welcome to 2017. Have an amazing year.